You guys have been really supporting my Apex Legends thumbnail templates, but I also have Valorant templates down below along with channel art templates, so check it out down in the description if you're interested. <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys? Zeo Crisis here. Welcome back to the channel. So what's going on guys? Today, I went off with a triple take, man. The buff that a triple take got in Apex Legends is unbelievable. There's abs absolutely no reason for you to deactivate the choke on the triple take because it is crazy. You get consistent, six, consistent 65 damage, 69, 80, sometimes 110, depend, depending on where you hit them. It makes no sense and it kind of makes the Sentinel kind of absolute because the Sentinel, yes, it does 70, 75 consistently, but compared to the triple take, being a lot more consistent and a lot more forgiving with your shots, it's a way more viable weapon. It's a better choice because it does basically the same damage with less of a consequence. It's a lot easier to use in my opinion because it fired like three shots instead of like one. It's super fun to use, man. The snipes I got in this video were crazy. I was getting some crazy knocks, crazy snipes, crazy plays. It was awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on the triple take down below because I love the weapon. In the past, I never liked it. My, my favorite sniper was the longbow. And unfortunately, I don't like the longbow anymore. It's kind of weird. But a triple take is where it's at, man. The, the, the sniper, it's unbelievable. But let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic night. I never did that in my intro. But all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video take it easy go to jump master where are we going oh we're going down here this ice area i'm not a fan of it man i'm sticking with rampart for this game too what is this guy doing i'm just gonna go with it i'm just gonna go with it man triple take i picked this up and this gun has been pretty good i've used it a couple of times for this season the built-in precision choke makes this gun actually really powerful it's probably the most consistent sniper tommy crazy but i love the iron set on the triple take you can use this gun like a shotgun man like a straight up like, a close range weapon even the sentinel is not bad the sentinel and the, the longbow just feels like garbage now man i remember the longbow used to be good in like season one to three now it just feels like it's so inconsistent it's like a it's like a flipping win man it's weird 69 on that guy, man. You know what that guy? I'm falling back. Nice. Oh. Okay, then. All right. Good start with the sniper. Good start. The triple tape, man, underrated. It's it's good. I've always liked the triple tape, though. You get some solid damage. The guys over here. Okay, nice. They took out the last guy, I guess. You get some the people here too. I can't even continue my commentary. Dude, that that's really good damage. Sixty nine, like one shot there. With the choke? What's the point of using like the sentinel then? It's hard to aim and then you get in like a faster fire rate with this this sniper and basically the same damage. What's the point? Why is everybody like one shot? The heck's going on? <laughs> I'm pushing in. I'm gonna be a little bit careless, but I'm pushing in. With two weapons, that's not a cl close range okay all right now what's going on right now everybody's like one shot in this game i feel like i got the golden gun <clears throat> 138 on that guy the choke is amazing on the sniper man the fact that this is built in this is kind of kind of broken in a way I and mean, it's so easy to use i really believe the sniper is super easy to use it's not hard <clears throat> but a G7 combo with this isn't the best though. A flatline probably a better combo, but nice. I'm pushing this guy. I'm going in. I'm gonna be aggressive. If I die, whatever. I'm just going for plays, man. At this point, I'm gonna continue using the sniper. If I die, I die. We're going in. Come on, teammates. 
even though I'm saying that, I don't really want to die, but I'm going to be kind of careless. And the choke like charges up pretty quickly. It doesn't, it doesn't even take any time at all, man. The moment you aim, by the time you fire, it's already like charged up. I had like Bloodhound, you know, Bloodhound to scan the area. If you, if you could. You're right here, dog. I'll hit him. What the heck are these guys doing? Respect for the scan, Bloodhound. These guys are right. They're scanning me, though. I know exactly where I am. Damn. I don't have any shields. Oh. Okay, I appreciate that. That one's all the way up top. I can't get that one. I will refill my shields right now. So yeah, they're going. They're going for a push. They're going to far right. They're gonna push on the right. Oh, that shot though. That shot. Oh crap! No, that was sweet. That was that, bro. What is up with the triple take right now? Bro, you might as well enable the choke. There's no reason for you to like deactivate the choke. I don't see anybody. I gotta help my teammate. I got one of those knocks. There's someone, one more person left. Get out of here. There we go. I got you, teammate. The triple take. There is no reason for you to disable that choke. I got you, teammate. Hold on. Oh my god. Now these guys want one is dead. That was sad, man. I was trying to do like a good play with his rampart shield right there. Her shields takes way too long to like reinforce. They need to like update that, man. It takes way too long. A triple tape, man. Like I said, there's no reason for you to deactivate this. Let's leave it, leave it on. The first shot you take, it's always choked up. You might as well do it. So look how fast this thing like charges up. It doesn't take a second. It was like a long charge. Now I could see where that would be annoying. Did you have to wait? On Where are my shots going? What the heck? I guess over his head then. How are we getting scanned? We are getting scanned. There are more people in the area though, 100%. I'm gonna kinda stall it out. I don't wanna get flying from. There we go. At least it's the Bloodhound that's up. I can snipe this guy. And the fact that you can probably. 105 on that dude, man. Bad idea. Bad idea. I know it's a bad idea. I knew I was gonna go down. I was. I just wanted to knock that guy. I was wide open. That was so dumb. But I just went for it, man. And the G7 kind of failed me right there. Like, why not a sign on the gun? I just couldn't hit him. I couldn't hit him at all. It's a GG, man. Yeah, it's a GG, man. I just completely left myself open. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video regardless, man. That was a fun game. The sniper was going off. The triple take is so good right now. There is absolutely no reason for you to deactivate the triple take. Not the triple take. Deactivate the precision choke. There is no reason for you to deactivate that. It, it makes the gun so much better. Like, so much better. It doesn't even take that long to charge up. If there was, like, a wait time, if there was, like, a wait time in between, char in between shots, then I would be like, okay, you could deactivate it. But... There is no reason to. It charges up so quickly. You get more damage. It's a lot more consistent. It's a, it's a better Sentinel. Way more way more consistency with the shots. A lot more automatic. It's not as delayed. It's a great sniper. Underrated. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, try out a triple take, man. A triple take in season six is goaded. And I don't really see this being removed. I see this being the triple take forever. I hope they don't change it because I love it the way how it is right now. It's such a viable weapon. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on a triple take and I see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.